Hey, welcome to This Mama's House. Today I'm sharing with you a must-have homeschool supplies. Hey guys, if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Tabitha. Thanks so much for stopping by. On this channel, I post homemaking, homeschooling, and healthy lifestyle videos. I'd love to have you subscribe. Currently, I am doing my Back to Homeschool series where I'm sharing all of my tips and tricks on how to homeschool and things I've learned along the way. This is my eighth year homeschooling and I'm so excited to be sharing these videos with you. If you are new and this is the first time you've ever been here, I will leave all of the homeschool videos that I've shared so far linked down in the description box as well as in the iCard so you can get all caught up and hear all of my awesome homeschooling tips. Today I am sharing about seven homeschool supplies that you need. These are things that have saved me that every homeschooler should totally have. With the start of the homeschool year just around the corner, a lot of people think of pencils, paper, crayons, you know, the basic supplies that everybody knows about. These are seven things that you have to have as a homeschooler that maybe you didn't think about yet. The first homeschool supply that you need is a printer. I might argue that you could get away with just having a printer and you could homeschool. There are so many free printables, there's so many curriculums that you can buy as PDFs and then just print off. A printer is a lifesaver and not just any old printer. Go big with this and you won't regret it. If you spend the money on a really nice printer, it will be a reliable tool for you for years to come. I have an HP OfficeJet 8710 printer. I will link it down below. It runs for almost $500. It was pretty expensive, but it's so worth it. The ink lasts for probably a year and I print a lot of stuff. It hooks up to Wi-Fi so I can print things right off of my phone if I want to and it just makes it so convenient. I recommend getting a printer with a copier and with laser ink. This will save you money and a copier is just really nice to have especially when you have multiple kids that you want doing the same worksheet. The next homeschool supply that you need and might not have thought about is an electric pencil sharpener. Don't go cheap with this one either. Trust me, I've been through a couple sharpeners so far. The little handheld sharpeners are a waste of time. The crank sharpeners are no good either. But an electric sharpener, a really nice one, is going to save you a headache. Manual sharpeners are not worth the time or effort and it makes it hard for little ones to sharpen their own pencils. A quick zip through a quality sharpener like the one I have and it'll make your days a lot easier. Trust me. Something that you might have thought of but maybe you don't know about this brand yet is Faber-Castell pencils. These are the best colored pencils out there. I am a die-hard Crayola lover. These colored pencils tap them for sure. I like having the kids use colored pencils for schoolwork over crayons or markers because they make neater work. Those little artists bloom with really really nice supplies so these pencils truly make a difference. The next homeschool supply that is a must is some sort of reusable pouch. I like to get the dry erase pouches. You can get them at Dollar Tree, you can order them off of Amazon, Target, Bullseye Playground carries them as well. If you don't like the dry erase pockets, you could also do a laminator. You could laminate anything and use your dry erase marker right on it, or even just page protectors. But just a way for you to be able to reuse worksheets is awesome, and you can even make daily chore lists or checklists for your kids that they can use every single day and just simply wipe it off at the end of the day. So a dry erase pocket is another must have. Another must have is a three hole punch. This will make organizing so much easier. You'll be able to three hole punch any worksheet, pop it in a binder and you're good to go. This is definitely one of those things that you might not think about but you'll be happy to have around. Another must have is a filing tote. 
This is basically a portable filing cabinet. They make these awesome plastic totes that make organizing your kids' curriculum and lessons plans and things that you want to save for them makes organizing them so easy. Especially if you're in a state that requires you to turn in work, this just simplifies the process. Another must have is erasable pens. And this one is for you, mama. I much prefer to use pen when I'm grading, planning, or writing just about anything, but I don't like the pressure of not being able to make even the slightest mistake when I'm using a pen. So that's where these erasable pens come in to save the day. I use the friction pens and they are the best of the best as far as erasable pens go. The ink is super smooth like a gel pen and it dries quickly. Erasing is a breeze and they come in so many colors and they last forever. Adding these seven homeschool supplies to your classroom is a must. You'll be so happy to have these things on hand. What are something that you have to have in your classroom? Let me know down below if I forgot anything or anything that you think is a must have. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.